Hello everyone, this is uh, Dana Talbert, and today I am reviewing the my uh, custom protector of ice. Now, one thing to say is I know in some of the videos I was saying Golly would be the next figure. Unfortunately, her parts uh, never arrived, I don't know. Um, what happened with them, but her, her parts never arrived, so I'm reviewing some other figures instead. Um, my voice is a little quieter than normal, and that's because, um, some stuff that I've talked about in a community post, <laughs> so I won't go to that. Um, but here's the figure. Um, it's the same height as my standard protectors. I would grab the others for size comparisons and stuff, but I've set up like a whole set up like a whole display of the figures. Um, and it's like it's like really high up, <laughs> and I don't feel like pulling everything down just for some size comparisons. So here he is. Um, is pretty basic, has very basic articulation. There's ball jointed shoulder, hinge elbows, ball jointed wrist, um, ball jointed hip, hinge jointed knee, ball jointed ankle, ball jointed head, um, and then his shield can kind of rotate because of just the way that I attached it. So you could kind of make his shield look more like a you could either have it like as a shield or you can have it as like a effect part of like some sort of super powerful uh, element like his punch. I'm not going to move him around too much because since he has been sitting on a display, he's got some dust in his joints and I don't want to accidentally crack some of these old pieces, especially because this guy is going to be sitting up on that display and I don't want is uh, him to become super loose and broken and stuff because I don't really feel like having to buy a bunch of replacement parts. Um, so another little thing, he does have a extra little bit of armor on his back, which I think is a nice little touch. You can imagine it either as extra armor or as like a as like a backpack or whatever you want to imagine it as. Um, I just really did it to cover up some space, but that about does it for this figure. He doesn't really have much to do, and obviously because he's been sitting on the shelf and has dust in his joints, I don't, I'm kind of worried to move him, so I'm just going to leave him in the pose he was in, uh, for the display. So I will see you all next week, maybe.